Another lyric review. Hell yes. I made a uh, video about Doja Cat's lyrics and that got a lot of negativity, which is excellent for views. So I'm going to make another one of those. Uh, don't worry. This one, uh, I like Halsey. Uh, well, I like the sound of her music. Her lyrics are, come on. At this point, you can't really uh, hold people to a specific criteria when it comes to that because there's a lot of nonsense out there. And I listened to the song of hers, of which I like, don't get me wrong. And we're going to review the lyrics because I thought there were some interesting subject matter. Well, we're, we're going to do something else, something interesting with this video, though. We are going to tally up the types of people that Halsey is attracted to uh, uh, as a romantic partner. So, the very first thing we're going to start with before we even begin. g Easy. So let's just put that on the tally, right? Celebrity douches. Uh, he cheated on her or something. That's like one of the few things I know about Halsey. All I know is that, you know, their music, I've listened to a little bit of it. And I've heard this from somebody else. I'm not sure where I heard this from. Where she got with him and he cheated unsurprisingly. Wait, what? g Easy? You're telling me g Easy cheated on Halsey? No way. I don't believe that. You're telling me that this guy... If I ever said I fuck your Cheated on Halsey. It's really funny. There, yeah. There's some uh, footage related to that. But um, yeah. Let's just jump right into this, and let's get to it. So I'm bad in love. Got a boy back home in Michigan, and it tastes like Jack when I'm kissing him. So I told him that I never really liked his friends. Now he's gone, and he's calling me a bitch again. Add that to the tally, alcoholics. I'm guessing that's the problem that she had, given that she's talking about his friends, who are probably bad influences, right? So, yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, not a great start. And again, calling you a bitch again? Has he called you a bitch before? That sounds um, not toxic whatsoever. So good choice. Next one. There's a guy that lives in a garden state, and he told me that we will make it, we will make it till we graduate. So I told him that the music will be worth the wait, but he wants me in the kitchen with a dinner plate. <laughs> Add conservatives to the tally. You're, you're off to a great start, Halsey. You got some really good taste. Like, these these lyrics are, like, cohesive. And it's not just, like, you know, goddamn fuck a bitch shit shit goddamn, or, like, hey, my boyfriend sucks, garbage, 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 I'm a queen, yas, yas, yas. It's nothing like that. Like, you're actually, like, telling a story, which I, I like, Halsey. Like, there's coordination here. Alrighty. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that we're meant to be. Already. Um, no one is ever meant to be. That's not how it works. You just find a partner and you make it work with them and you commit. There's no true love. There's no true romance. There's no soulmates. That's all just mindless nonsense that people use to romanticize the idea of human sexual dynamics. It's all garbage. So, yeah, don't tell yourself that. You're going to walk into, you know, what house he's dealt with. Fuck your bitch. Just keep going. But jealousy, 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 get the best of me. Normal. That's a normal human emotion. You just got to learn how to deal with that. And especially as a high value woman, it is considerably easy to deal with that, given that you can just literally send out a tweet and have a bunch of people line up to you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Look, I don't mean to frustrate, but I always make the same mistakes. Yeah, I always make the same mistakes because... You gotta, you gotta learn from these things, dude. Otherwise, you're gonna keep making those same mistakes. I mean, you can make music about it, and it gives you plenty of uh, content matter when it comes to that. Dude, I, I keep fucking with my nose. Goddamn. Talk to a therapist? I believe therapy is just a good thing for everyone. Doesn't matter if you do or don't have, like, it, problems. Everyone has problems. But, like, having an unbiased third party bounce board that, like, is good, which takes screening, you gotta go to a few therapists to know which one's good, is, like, that benefits everyone. All, everyone. It's not something that you need if you're messed up. It's just something that I believe as a human you need. You need an outlet to be able to vent, to be able to just talk about stuff with no consequence. All right, let's get to the next one. The first verse, because there was the intro, then there was the hook. Now that's the first verse. Got a girl with California eyes, and I thought that she would really be the one this time, but I never got the chance to make her mine because she fell in love with little thin white lines. Who? Add that to the count. Add that to the tally, boys. <laughs> drug users, drug abusers. 
Addicts. <laughs> London girl with an attitude. We never told no one, but we look so cute. Both got way better things to do, but I always think about it when I'm riding through. All right, this one, there's nothing particular that you point to that this person did that screwed things up or anything that you did. Add assholes to the count. I mean, do you think that would come come along with G-Eazy? You don't have to say I fuck your bitch I already know Right? <laughs> that would just be a, a... That would have probably already been added to the tally. I believe, I believe, I believe that I'm in too deep. And jealousy, 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 get the best of me. Look, I don't mean to frustrate, but I always make the statement. Yeah, repeat. Which, you know... I like the song. I really do. It's, it's catchy. These are a bop. So that's the... I'm bad at love... Who, who? But you can't believe. Oh, I skipped the first hook. Oops. Well, here's the hook. It means the same thing each time. But you can't blame me for trying. Oh, absolutely, you can blame blame you. Like take some accountability for your decisions um, and refine the process of, of of traversing this facet of your life instead of making the same mistakes. Yeah, the same mistakes, cause. <laughs> You know, I'd be lying saying you were the one. Again, there is no one. That's just what you tell yourself. You can get with anyone. Everyone's replaceable. None of it matters. There's no, like, ethereal uh, aspect to this part of human conduct. You were the one, ooh, that could finally fix me. Don't leave that out to other people to do that. You need to fix your shit, your own shit. The same applies to other people. Don't get with people who's like, oh, I can fix him. Emotion, emotional ineptitude if you tell yourself that. So fix yourself, therapy, treat yourself better, be honest with yourself, quit lying to yourself instead of lying and saying you were the one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I'm bad at love. Oh, you know, you know. All right. Next one. I know that you're afraid I'm going to walk away each time the feeling fades. Each time the feeling fades. I know that you're afraid I'm going to walk away each time the feeling fades. Are you talking about someone who loved you and you and it wasn't reciprocal and you walked away and you wanted the feeling to fade yet yet this these are your choice of partners all right yeah then the hook repeats itself you know i'm bad at love okay big takeaway from this just like learn to take accountability for yourself and your actions and the things that you like and try to think about the things that you like instead of just making the same mistakes yeah making the same mistakes cuz <laughs> um Love is not really as special as people want to romanticize it as. It's kind of just mindless emotions that are very dangerous if you don't know how to properly deal with that stuff. It's, it's an ingrained opiate, the ingrained opiate of human sexuality. And you need to find ways to, you know, approach it in a healthy, mature fashion. Otherwise, you're going to mess it up. And from what I've seen, everyone messes it up because nobody knows what the hell they're doing. If songs like if people can relate to songs like this, then it's like, what does it say about people <laughs> and the standards of which they hold themselves to when it comes to this part of life? All right, so good news, fellas or women or whoever Halsey is attracted to, just be any of these things and you're good to go.